all right let's move forward to this particular sheet now you see what's happening with the data over here so basically the entitlements and values are provided over here now the date it's kind of an hr data if i'm not wrong so basically there's this name provided of the person the dob the hourly rate that the person is charging the holiday leave hours the holiday leave accrual whatever hr data is i don't want to understand the data and there is a total provided everyone with me and then the next name comes up now there are a lot of erps a lot of softwares may not be erp just data crunching softwares any uh, tools and all which might provide you the data in the form of a list now obviously i would want a column of name a column of dob a column of rd rate a column of rd leave hours etc so i would want the same data in a columnar format which is not being available over here so how do i go about it how do i convert how do i clean up my data and get it in a format which i can use for my pivots and an analysis right so how do we go about it so first of all let me check it as a table yes it is a table and the table name is personal info so again your get data excel file pivot and pivot i'm going to choose the table personal info you can get your data start your query that's the first thing you do so personal info table load and i'll go to edit queries now now once i'm over here basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a column why i'll i'll tell you as we move forward i'll i'll be able to explain what am i doing so i'll add a column an index column uh, yeah but before that you know i would rather filter out the null rows because they're absolutely of no use and i can also remove the total rows because total is supposed to come through pivots so i don't need to do that so let me just filter out the null and the total so that i have only the data rows now once this is done i will add an index column i'll tell you why and i can do it from one let's say so 1 2 3 4 5 so there are five points for this particular person then there are 6 to 10 is pertaining to one person then 11 to 15 is pertaining to five data points of one person so i've got this index column why am i doing the index column i'll explain at the end because i'll i'll be able to explain better that that way now what i need to do over here is sorry this column needs to be converted into a one second i'm missing this one is supposed to be converted into a pivot now this data now i'll explain this basically what we are doing over here is this needs to be converted into a pivot column and value column is entitlements is okay no sorry hmm one second i made some mistake over here just give me a moment so null and total was unselected i added in the add column we have the index column from 1 so i have this done and now i need to choose the entitlements column and i will do a pivot i'll show you what it is going to work pivot is in the transform column just give me a second and the value column will be values column i'll show you what we are doing so this becomes basically my heading rows if i'm converting into pivot this becomes my heading rows and okay and okay i again made a mistake so this pivot column and it was not supposed to count it was supposed to be don't do any calculations and okay now you see what is happening we will not be able to do that so basically everybody just observe it will take me one more minute and we'll be done with this file so basically now what we have is we have a name dob rd rate holiday leave hours and holiday leave accrual etc or at the heading but every single thing is coming on a new line now if you see we are kind of creating a diagonal over here the name comes here the uh, dob comes here the hourly rate comes here then the holiday leave hours comes here then the holiday leave accrual comes here and then again it starts with the first line with name so ultimately what i need to do is i need to combine all these into one i need to combine all these into one so basically this five lines is worth one data these five rows are worth one data set 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, this and these all these columns and I'm going to do a fill up. Now why would I do a fill up and not fill down because understand if I do a fill down this DOB of carrot Brinda Karat is going to be filled against Biman Bose. Are you understanding this particular hourly rate of Brinda, Brinda is going to get filled against Biman Bose. But if I do a fill up, it's always going to come up in front of their names. I'm just trying to get their names column correct, the names rows correct. So even when you're looking at Biman, I know that this Biman's hourly rate is going to get filled up over here. But we will not select, we'll unselect all these null rows. I'm just trying to get the correct data in front of the name. My objective is to get the correct data in front of the name. I'll repeat this whole portion. I know this one is a little tricky. Fill up. The moment I do that, now you would notice the data is incorrect over here, but the data in front of the name is correct. The name, the row in which the name is provided, that particular row's data is absolutely correct. Now all I would need to do is, in filter, I will unfilter the null part and you have the entire output ready. And if you notice, the index number is 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, because all the five data points are one data set now. The reason why we are doing it so that any kind of duplicacy, so say for example, if the same name occurs twice, we are not missing out on one. We don't want it to, we did not want to remove duplicates. The same name could come twice and that is why we put index number to make each row a unique row. We put the index numbers because if we have the same person name with the same DOB or something, there are two people with the same data set. We did not want to lose out on the duplicacies of data if there is any duplicacy or if there are two people with the same name. Hence, the index number was provided to make the say all the rows as a unique row. Now, I'll repeat this whole, repeat this thing again with you because I know this one is a little bit tricky. I'll just close this file without any changes. I think the data is already there. That's personal info, yes. Edit query. Now we are going to be practicing this together. Mm -hmm. I just did not close the Power BI, so edit query is also having, sorry, the entire thing over here. Yeah. One second. Just a moment. So we'll start from the scratch, from scratch, get data, pivot, unpivot. Personal info table is what I need to get over here. So now we are going to do it parallelly. Be very attentive. Personal info load. We go to edit queries after that. Once we're in the edit queries, now we need to transform this personal data table. Now name, DOB, RD rate, etc. is given. There is a blank line which was there. I need to get rid of that first. And I need to get rid of the totals because the total is going to be a part of my analysis. I don't need the totals as a part of my table. So I need to first of all filter out the null and the total. Is everybody done that? We're going to do it parallelly. The next thing we need to do is we need to add an index column. Whenever you need to add columns, there is an add column tab over here and you have the index column which you can add. The index column could be added which might start from zero or the serial number could be starting from one as well. We'll start with the serial number one over here, right? You can start with uh, zero, that is not a problem. Once I have the serial number, you can see that every data set has got five attributes, five attributes, five attributes with each of the data set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select entitled entitlements. This is a mistake I had made because I was selecting the value and then I was trying to create the pivot. Now what we need to do is with the entitlements, I want to create pivot. Why is that so? Because in the entitlement, if you see name DOB early rate is given again, name DOB early rate, etc. is there. So these five are getting repeated again and again. And I want these five to become the column headers. I want this column data to become the pivot column headers. I want this to become pivot, not unpivot. So therefore, I need to do a pivot column, which is in the transform tab. Are you understanding why I'm doing the pivot column? 
and I have to select this column. This is a mistake I had made that I was selecting the values column to create pivot. You have to select this column because these are going to become the headers. So the elements in this particular column are supposed to become the headers of the pivot, the heading uh, of the columns and therefore I click on pivot column. The moment I do the pivot column, I need the values column. Another mistake that I made was in the advanced option, we don't want the count. We don't want how many times name has come and DOB has come under this name, right? I want the data itself. I don't want any calculation on the data. Below the name tab, I want Brinda Karat to come or a Bibos Biman to come or a Biswas Bob to come. I want the value, the, sorry. I want the data to come over here and not the count or the sum or anything. And the summation is not possible because you have a lot of data which is non-numerical. So I don't want any aggregation, any calculation. You give me the data as it is. Now the problem over here is there is a lot of nulls over here. Now in the name <coughs> column, we have this Brinda carrot uh, and then there are four nulls over here. Then there is a date on the next row because name and DOB and RD rate did not know that they are belonging to the same row. Now what we are going to do is we are going to select all these columns except the name column. Please notice, I'm not selecting the name column and I'm going to do a fill up. What my objective over here is that against the name, I want the correct data. I know the other rows will be messed up because if I'm putting this date against these three values, these three are actually a part of carrot Brinda. But then the point is I just want the date, the row in which the name is there to have all the correct information. So ultimately till all these four rows will be filled up in front of this because they're all nulls in front of the name. Now this is also all the nulls are there in front of the name. So ultimately this correct data is going to be filled up till here. So in front of the name, you're going to get the correct data and hence we do a fill up. Because in front of the name, I wanted the correct data to flow in. And now all I need to do is I need to unselect the null data because those lines are absolutely useless and incorrect. But the data in front of the names were turning out to be correctly, turning up correctly. And if you notice the index numbers also, they are at a gap of five denoting that we probably did not have any, we definitely did not have any duplicacy. So even if the same, same name, sorry, is appearing twice, they would be getting uh, presented in the table because of index numbers, every single line became a unique line because of putting in the index number. Otherwise, if there was any duplicate data, we would have lost out on that, on those data terms. Is everybody comfortable till here? Sure. Are you understanding the amount of cleaning and fast cleaning we can do with Excel? Right? Comfortable till here? Any issues? So what did we do over here? So basically we had multiple techniques in which we were trying to do pivot data, unpivot data, etc. When you're doing unpivot data, what it does is it basically whatever are uh, uh, your uh, pivot data was when you had January actual, February actual, etc. That becomes the headers. So the data becomes the headers that is pivot data. When you're doing that 2013, 14, 15, 16 is given. You have the column headers. You wanted those to become a part of the column and each so 2013, 14, 15 is there and the data points are there. You wanted those 2013, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 14 and you wanted the headers to actually become different, different data sets that is unpivot and you wanted to unpivot that row, that column, sorry, or you wanted to unpivot the other columns, right? So that was the difference and pivot is where you want to convert the January, February, January, February, January, February or DOB name, DOB name, DOB name into the column headers that is pivot data. Right? Delimit you understand where we want to delimit it or the, uh, this one, the, what was it called? Uh, split column as they call it. So text to column, split, uh, split column over here. Obviously I'm more used to Microsoft Excel as compared to Power BI. So uh, that was split column, we can split, we can merge columns together. We can do fill down where all the blank rows are going to take the values above it or fill up where whatever is there below it is going to get filled up. We've learned filled up, we've learned fill down, we've learned pivot, we've learned unpivot. And you also, when we are looking at the pivot part, you select the first column is going to the first column that you select. The order in which you select the column is important because the first column you select is going to be the headers. And the next column that you select is going to be the data within those column headers. Have you understood this much? And are you understanding the amount of data cleaning we can do? Everyone? Comfortable till here? This completes this part.